Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to give you a quick level up tip about a terminal replacement for OS X. Now, Apple, uh, their operating system comes with the terminal app. In fact, you can see it open here. It's nothing fancy. Uh, you can do multiple tabs, multiple panes, and some basic theme stuff, but it's, it's pretty bare bones, right? Well, iTerm2 is a free terminal emulator. And I use this pretty much exclusively as my terminal app for OS X. Um, in fact, you can see I have it right here. It just says iTerm, although this is in fact iTerm2. Now, what's great about iTerm2 is that instead of just having the bare bones features, there's almost more features than you can possibly handle. So if you come to their website, in fact, uh, we can't even cover all of them here, but you can go in here and click through and exactly see all of these awesome features. Most importantly, it's just really configurable. Uh, so it offers things like profiles. So if we come in here to uh, iTerm preferences, um, we can set up a profile by clicking the plus down here. Now this profile, let's say this is always going to be into my downloads folder for some reason. So uh, let's say I have stuff in my downloads folder and I always want a window to open up into my downloads folder and I want it to look a certain way. So I can give it a shortcut key. Now this is going to just be D for downloads. Now on Mac, well of course this is a Mac app, it's command control D. So we can go ahead and uh, give it a command when it first launches or you can give it a working directory. What this is really useful for is that I have profiles set up for my server, for test servers and things like that. So when I open up a new profile, it automatically can SSH into my server for me by running an SSH command. Now I could also say users Scott downloads. Um, if I could type downloads. Now uh, another great thing is you could give this profile a perhaps a different background color. So I have my different servers color coded based on what server I'm on. If I'm on my work server, my level up TUD server or something like that. Let's just say I want to make the background of this development server or my downloads folder green. I can do that. You can even do things like changing the text, get making the box transparent. And as you can see, there's all sorts of stuff. And actually, let's make this something else. Let's just make this A because it's my first one. Uh, so we're going to do out of here. Uh, now I'm going to do command option A. Now you can see that it's opened up a new window here, our new tab actually, and it's already in our downloads folder and the background is green so we know that this is our downloads. Now you can set up all sorts of different ones. In fact, I have so many different profiles that take me exactly where I need to be uh, that it's ridiculous. So I can be uh, basically by holding command and hitting one of the left or right arrows you can go through your tabs. But I can be doing anything and just instantly do control command A and know exactly where I am now. Um, now of course I'm in my downloads folder because of this profile I set up. Now you see we have different tabs but we can also open up a new tab within this same profile. So if you're SSH into your server and you want to open a new tab in your server, all you have to do is do command D and it opens up a new vertical pane. Notice how it remains in the same profile that we are using before and I can just keep opening these up just like if I was in this and I did command D, it's going to just leave me where I am because I'm in the default profile. Now there is really too many options to go in. Uh, you know, I could even give this tab a color of green so I know that that's my downloads folder tab uh, when I'm looking at this. Like I said, this app is just 
uh, it's the terminal app for OS X. So if you are using terminal all the time, when chances are you're building websites, you're using terminal all the time. And if you're not, you're probably using it more and more. So check out iTerm2. Trust me, it's the terminal app to use. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or the Level Up Tuts forum. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.